this is a, as it was moving up toward the final attitude. 45 degrees, you can see on our protractor that Don had mentioned previously was our minimum elevation angle. Once it got to 45, if everything else was okay, that thing was going, whether we got to 58 or not. Now, that's the nozzle of the solid rocket motor, and this is the instant of separation. As Don said, we really had to kind of check the television view from this aspect to see that it was, in fact, had deployed. Absolutely perfect deployment mechanically. It came straight out of the ASC, the Airborne Support Equipment, with no rates, just that, uh, again, at it's four-tenths of a foot a second, which isn't all that fast. And now at about a minute after deploy, as we thrust backward toward it, and you're not sure the thing is really clear of the orbiter, but that does cause you to pitch down also or away from the thing. But it nevertheless, it gets its attention when you're thrusting back toward a 17 or 18 ton piece of metal in the sky. <coughs> the white part is the IUS, the, the inertial upper stage. Here's where we started to, uh, to thrust toward it and pitch down. This was later on, flight day three, I guess, whatever it was. This is the FCS, Flight Control System Checkout. We do it uh, every flight on the vehicle. That uh, is story operating a camera to take data for the uh, continuous flow electrophoresis system experiment. This is the once a joint venture between McDonnell Douglas and Johnson & Johnson, which they have every confidence is going to have direct earthborne application very shortly. He's, uh, he was taking some photos of the, the streams up there and down here. He's uh, getting ready to change out some samples. Don was basically, uh, he was the housekeeper, and you can see that he kept a, a nice, neat ship down here. You know, there's not a lot of trash and equipment and items hanging on the uh, lockers and on the bulkhead, and, and that really helped a lot. And this was flight day two here while uh, Bo was telling the world about the uh, getaway specials. As Don mentioned previously, they were mounted in those three canisters. We did a antenna test, which necessitated us getting crossways to our velocity vector and then rolling at two degrees a second. We took some pictures of it, and I tell you, it was a little more impressive from on board than it is here. But nevertheless, it was a, a welcome diversion from just going around the world with a payload bay facing the earth all the time. This is on EVA day. That's uh, Story and Don in the airlock beginning their pre-breathe. You know, requires three and a half hours of pre-breathe on 100% oxygen to make sure or to have better assurances that we've flushed nitrogen out of the system so folks don't get the bends when they're exposed to the lower pressures in the suit. Bo was cleaning up the airlock and uh, making sure that everything was ready for him. This photo was taken through a, uh, no, this is from the aft TV cameras. That's the airlock hatch being opened in preparation for airlock egress. And this is story like a, uh, a butterfly coming out of its chrysalis, I guess, except you ain't near as pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but he has to come out and uh, hook up to the safety tether, which he mentioned before. And, and these are some some translations, I guess, that you story, going back along the, the starboard handrail. along the 